I'll house you. Give me body. I'll house you. Everybody, everybody dance. Pick it up. We're up in the club and we're getting crunk. I am French. I am drunk. I like girls with lots of spunk. Give me cheap and I will smoke. Gary's tea. This is Gary with the tea, and I'm here live at the Fort Worth Livestock and Rodeo. My God, now you see there, if you can see here, this is a big old cow. I think that's a cow. Uh, that's a cow, a uh, bull or something. But you know what? I've never been to a livestock um, rodeo before in my life. Now, I'm going to be doing something very important today, y'all. I'm going to be milking a goat. They got me milking a goat here. Now, you know I've never milked a goat. I've never seen a goat before. What is a goat? I thought it was a big dog, but they said it was a goat. <laughs> but anyway, I'm having a ball here, and I'm here with a young man here. Now, this young man here, he owns all of these um, cows or bulls. His name is, now what's your name, young man? Jeff Hoffman. I'm here with Mr. Jeff Hoffman. Now, Mr. Hoffman, I tell you, now what is this? Is this a cow or a steer? This is actually what they call a heifer. Oh, that's a heifer? I just called my cousin a heifer. But she's a female, but she's never had a calf. Once oh. they have a calf, they're a cow. Oh, so now tell me this. Oh, so this is a female then? Right. right. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a bigger cow over there. I'm going to get that cow, too, though. <laughs> so, okay, now tell me. Okay, so now a heifer never had a baby. Right. Correct. Oh. Once they have a baby, they're considered a cow. Oh, once they have a baby, they're a cow, but they don't have a baby, they're a heifer. heifer. Right. Oh, that's new. So, now tell me. This is, now, I was told about something about the bull. Is that a, where's the bull at? It's a bull somewhere around well, here. There's some down here, further down. But this guy, he's a steer. Okay, now a steer, they said a steer, a steer is the animal that doesn't have testicles? Yeah, they're, they're a bull and they've been castrated, usually about six months old when you wean them off the mama. Really? And, they, and I heard they get real big. Yeah, the, the steers will grow longer horns, like this guy and these other three on the other side. Mm -hmm. the, when you castrate them, the, all the testosterone and stuff goes to the horn instead of the testicles. You know, so I was thinking, that, so more... Women need to have their husbands castrated, and the all the muscle go more than their body. <laughs> Might go to their brain. <laughs> <laughs> but this is interesting. Though. That is a huge. So what are they good for? Well, the cows you have babies like here. And look at look at the baby cow. Did you get the baby cow? Look at that. And you sell them. You wean them about six months old and sell them. Really? And they only have one. One a year. Yes, it takes nine months for the baby. And they come out walking. Pretty much. Lord. So now, what about now when these steers lose their horns? It, like, is some animal that lose their horns? No, they keep their horns for life. Really? That is, and look they how. They continue to grow all their life. Well, how big do they get? Well, the guy on the other side, he's 20. And from tip to tip, it's 96 inches. My God. And Paris, he's 10 years old, tip to tip, it's 5 foot 2. Now, Paris almost looked like a leopard with the print like that. Yeah, they called it a brindle. Oh. Well, this is very interesting. You know what? This is why you should take your kids to livestock rodeos and livestock shows, because you learn something. Now, here I am, almost 20, and never knew that. You see, you live and learn. I'm three times your age, almost. 60? I'll really? be 50 in May. Really? You look good for your age. Thanks. You see, that's what you call a good living. You just come out here and you run these cattle and steers and stuff and, and, and all that good stuff, and you get to live long. So I'm going to change my life. Could I do TV and radio? I'm going to become a cowboy. It'll work. Thank you so you much. No problem. All right, now, you know what? Now, I'm going to move around and see, but I just love the little baby cows. So are they expensive? Not really. Um, when I bought my heifer and my steer at six months old, I paid $300 for them. Oh, that's not that bad. They sell today, and some of them went for 5000 Oh, Jesus. For a two-year-old heifer. Damn, 5000 for a two-year-old heifer. Just take all these heifers walking around here. <laughs> <laughs> and they ain't worth a quarter. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much again, honey. All right, now, I'm going to go, you know, and check out the goats and see what's going on with the goat because I'm going right now and I'm going to milk a goat. So y'all get to see me milk a goat. So honey, this is going to be very interesting because I never even touched a dog, let alone milk a goat. So I'm going to milk this cow, I mean this goat. And we're going to see what's going to be the outcome of that, honey. So stay tuned. We have three teams coming up for you for this very final round of the first team. And the contestants are 97.9 
tried to really get milk from that goat. I just couldn't do it. I could not touch that goat's head. I was not going to violate the goat. So, honey, I had to let Keisha, baby, swip that goat over and let you, girl, you get the milk from this goat because I just couldn't do it, honey. It just, I was just scared. I've never done it before. But you know what? I like this big old bull. Is that a cow or a bull or something? I think that's a big dairy cow. Look how beautiful. But I wouldn't dare try to milk that cow, honey. So I'm going to continue buying my milk baby from the store. So I will not be trying to get no milk from no cow or no goat or none of that stuff. Honey, because they should have taught us this in school. You see that if you went to go into the inner schools, we didn't even learn how to milk a damn goat. See that? That's how the children know more than us now because they know how to do all this stuff because they taught them in the schools and stuff. But I'm going to learn and I'm going to do this again, honey, next year, God spare. And I'm going to be milking a goat, a cow, and who knows, I may even get some eggs from a chicken. So, honey, just tune in, and honey. We had a great time. Hey, oh, look, look, they laughing at me. You know what? I did not. I, she said she, all right, baby. She just got to milking a goat. <laughs> Baby, there are too many things out here at the Livestock Country Yard. Girl, she got some beer in her hand. That's not milk. You, that's not milk. 
Yeah. That's milk of the gods. That's milk of the gods, honey. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in, honey. I had a wonderful time. It was a ball, honey. You see all kinds of things, honey, at the Fort Worth Livestock Rodeo. And, and um, I don't know what those people are doing. But anyway, honey, thank y'all. And I'll see y'all next year. Bye. Bye-bye.